Are you guys sideways? Why are you sideways? Uh, whatever. All right, we're back out in the garage. Not a lot has been going on, but these guys, to begin with, I have a little bit of work to do to them. I've done a few things that you haven't seen. Hence, the shelf over here is all kind of nicely labeled. We've got, oh God, flywheels pulled off, bell housings pulled off, uh, the two quadrajets pulled off, the first starter pulled off, and then I realized I didn't show you any of that. So, to start with, again, these engines are not getting fully overhauled. The compression is great. They're in awesome shape. They have not been used a lot. They are gonna get, however, new alternators, new fuel pumps, new filters, new starters, and did I say fuel pumps? Maybe not, fuel pumps. And then a couple new gaskets. We're gonna paint over some of that rust. Clean this up. I'm probably gonna pull these intake manifolds off and really clean them well. All new plug wires, all new spark plugs, new exhaust manifold gaskets. These manifolds are great. They weigh a ton. So, I don't know. Since I'm selling the boat, I'm probably not gonna get light ones. But if whoever buys the boat is watching this, just know I thought about it. And also, you'll get to see all the work I did to your boat that you bought. Yeah. Anyway, let's get to it. realizing here is that this alternator is different than that engine's alternator so it's not just a plug this is spliced in for some reason I'm gonna assume this is the original to the boat it looks like it at least uh, apparently you weren't supposed to take this box off these are spliced together right here so now I got to put it back together and then probably cut the sheath open and unsplice those and we'll be good this one off too but what the heck this one I thought had let's see if I can get if you guys can see it better this one I thought had a plug and I literally tried it with our massive set of pliers and it wouldn't come out I ended up doing the old snip snip but anyway this guy who almost fell over there this guy is done it's a lot lighter. Ooh, hello. Be careful, shelf. A lot lighter than that guy. I'm assuming this one's been replaced at some point. But again, you can see it's a little more rough. So now onto the fuel pumps. fuel pump off and honestly I think I can reuse it it the fuel pump is obviously still good because the boat ran phenomenally when I took it apart but this stuff needs to be replaced either way um, there's a diaphragm in here that I think the idea was you could unscrew all these screws and replace the diaphragm but 
I don't know. We'll see. All the stuff you can buy online is out of China. That was probably not made in China. It was actually probably made in the United States, which is awesome, which is probably why it's lasted this long. You can see, oh, sorry guys. And there is our little ram, which is what runs off the, I think, crankshaft. There's a little lobe, anyway. There's a little lobe there that moves this ram up and down, and that's what actuates the diaphragm on these mechanical fuel pumps. These vacuum hoses, the fuel hose, that'll all get replaced, but we're getting somewhere. I guess I'll go and do that guy now. May I note that left engine? Yeah, this is left, that's right. I don't think I'd mix them up, but I just did that just in case. Anyway, back to my point. Left engine is way dirtier than right. I'm not quite sure why. They're the same year, same engine, same blocks. I don't know. I don't, maybe, I, I don't know. It just, this one looks a lot dirtier than the other one. I mean, look at that, the head you can see is glossy, but it's just like grimy. I don't know if it got grimy because it was closer to the blowers or the bilge pump or, I don't know, it's weird. Anyway, I'm gonna take this other fuel pump off. You guys have already seen one. You probably don't need to see another, but I'll be back in a second. I got both fuel pumps off, whoop, sorry. One, two, forgot to take off another starter though. So, one more thing to do, then that's probably all I get to tonight. You guys wanna see me take off the starter? I feel like you've already seen it. Maybe I'll just do this instead. Okay, small block, Chevy, 350 cubic inches, uh, 5.7 liters, whatever you wanna call it. Small block Chevy, it is from 1987. Um, it's got the Thunderbolt ignition on it from Merc Cruiser and a, I think, 600 CFM Quadrajet carburetor. Anyway, they make about 270 horsepower. Um, the starters, I love it. They mount from the bottom. So you have two bolts going up into the block and literally just undo those two and things come right off. I mean, why? Why can't everything be that simple now? Try and change your starter on that Toyota Camry you're driving right now. Just kidding, none of you guys drive Toyota Camrys. At least I hope not. Sorry if you do. I'm gonna take care of that. And I'm gonna call it a night. Might, uh... Might have to drink some more of those. All right, see ya.